And now, let's hand out some more awards. Let me start with Hinak Award for Education. Dr. Erika Tatiana Camacho is the living embodiment of the paid forward mentality. As a young high school student in East Los Angeles, she was one of the fortunate recipients of the tutelage of Jaime Escalante, the legendary high school educator and past Hinak Award winner. His mentorship motivated Dr. Camacho to continue her education and inspire her to become a selfless, selfless sorry, mentor. Dr. Camacho's research at Arizona State University has centered on the afflictions of the human eye, like detached retinas and the degenerative eye disease retinitis pigmentosa. Outside of the lab, her lifelong mission has been to change the landscape of the field of mathematics by greatly diversifying it. She was crucial in the development of two math and science summer research programs that impacted over 138 students, many of whom have, have since earned PhD and MS degrees. Dr. Camacho's grant writing efforts were responsible for obtaining over 1.8 million from the NSF and NSA to support the research of 122 undergraduates at both LMU and ASU. She has mentored over 595 undergraduates in significant and prolonged ways and over 700 individuals in one-on-one sessions after one of her 18 keynote addresses, 10 plenary presentations, five invited presentations, and 21 panel invitations. The true testimony to Dr. Camacho's tremendous impact is the gratitude and admiration of her mentees, many of whom have gone on to pay it forward themselves. Honored guests, I'm happy to present the Education Award to Erika Camacho. I am truly honored to accept the HINAC, this HINAC Award. Education and determination are the reasons why I stand here today. And I am not another casualty of the inner city ghettos that give politicians the excuse to not educate our Hispanic communities. As an immigrant girl in East Los Angeles, my biggest dream was to become a cashier. I had lived through a life full of adversity, poverty, hardship, many drive-bys, friends getting killed or ending up in prison, multiple times being told I'm not smart and I am not gonna make it, having to fight to have opportunities, being forced to deny my identity, my culture, and my background to have an opportunity to become a scientist. But determination gave me the tenacity to persevere and live my destiny to become a leader in education and a catalyst of change so the future generations can have an opportunity to realize their full potential. If I did it, all of you could do it too. And I hope you join me in this journey. Thank you very much.